lovely flowers. Look at these most glorious creations of Mother Nature. The flower, the untainted, pure, pristine and beautiful flowers. Ah, flowers. Now, as an experiment, let's add a little money to those flowers. No! Ah! Gross! Tainted flowers! Tainted flowers, don't you see? What could have tainted our government and our society to such an extent? It could only be money, my friends. Only money could have reduced those beautiful flowers you just saw to these most grotesque and nauseating, fungoid, repulsive, slime-colored monstrosities, ushering us into an age wherein everything is tainted. What happened? Hello, welcome to Tainted. This is Thomas Jefferson. Thank you, thank you. I hope we shall crush in its birth the aristocracy of our moneyed corporations, which dare already to challenge our government in a trial by strength and bid defiance to the laws of our country. This is Thomas Jefferson looking down from heaven and forewarning you, you have allowed those very moneyed corporations to taint and destroy the Republic, tearing the very soul of the Republic, it's that bad. As Perry Logan has tried to warn you, we, the Founding Fathers, are waiting in heaven to kick your butts. So tainted is your government, so tainted by filthy lucre. Money. And now, direct from a sellout show at the Copacabana, Austin's beloved Perry Logan and the Tainted Band! They say power corrupts, but pound for pound, his money that is the true corrupter. I, my liege. I, my liege, they swear. <laughs> I, my liege. They say power corrupts, and absolute power corrupteth absolutely. Cool saying. Ah, but don't you see? Pound for pound, ounce for ounce, amp for amp. Tis money that is the true corrupter. <gasps> Come with me into the hyperacidic, hyperfluoric, sulfuric world of money and its corruptive power. Mm, 
pound for pound. Ounce for ounce. <laughs> Tis money that is the true corrupter of mankind. This I do believe. <laughs> and you're watching my show, so you better believe it too. <laughs> Tainted, all right? We're all tainted. See? We're all tainted! This is tainted! Uh, so we're gonna have fun with it, though. And I'm just, uh, just wanted to get down and be very clear about the cause of the uh, current ongoing endemic pandemic. Tainted. We live in a time where the government certainly is tainted. You know, the, the senators are saying, uh, did you know uh, Wall Street runs this place? I am a senator. Wall Street runs this place. Help, son, help. I like a cry of help from our own government. <laughs> Taintedness abounds. It's like living in Hamlet. It's like we're all Hamlet, right? However, Pound for pound, ounce for ounce. You know, what would, what would have corrupted us so? And it, very simply, it's money. It's like money has like ruined everything. <laughs> now consider this, consider now. I remember reading a survey, or it was a poll of people, and it said uh, if someone offered you a million dollars, hey, I guess this was back when a million dollars was like real money. If you were given a million dollars, would you kill somebody? You know, and they made, they made up a scenario and said, okay, it wouldn't be someone you know. You know, they wouldn't be tricking you into killing someone you knew. Now, that's kind of an interesting idea. <laughs> but they said, you know, if it could be someone that you simply didn't know, would you kill this person for a million, okay? All right, all right. Make it 10 million. A <laughs> hundred million. Hey. Viewer, check it out now. Let's say somebody offered you, let's say I, Perry Logan, offered you a hundred million dollars, baby. A hundred million cool, on the sly, tax-free money, yours for life, guaranteed, baby. All you have to do is kill somebody that you don't know. Somebody, you know, it doesn't matter. You don't know them. Come on, man. I'm making you an offer. I'm offering you right here and now a hundred million dollars. There's somebody I want to get rid of. Hey, satire. Satire, your honor. Oh. Satire, your honor. I plead satire. Uh, there's nobody I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, but uh, I was just illustrating something about Come on, man, you know, uh, I'm, I'm in no position to throw stones, but money is just so much more corruptive. Do you hear me? Money is so much more corruptive. <laughs> than power. Oh, consider, even though, look, we're, we're, we're uh, taking a moment here to find the cause of our taintedness. We are tainted. We are all monstrously tainted creatures. Our flesh crowded with fungus and pus and bad things. It, we're tainted and having fun with it. Now, it's not so much about us being tainted. It's about the government. How did the government get so bad, you know, so bad. <laughs> All right. And it, it wasn't the power so much. I would, I would offer up the simple point that it, just glancing through history, you can see mm, some people are corrupted by power and some aren't. I'm sorry, but there really are, there are examples of people who went bonkers because they had power and people who didn't. That's all there is to it. You can't pretend there are no good leaders, right? So uh, the only problem with the statement that power corrupts is that it's uh, not true. It is apparently not true. 
money. Money is like super duper, super corruptive, uh, you know. And I really do remember a survey that, you know, I just gave you a survey and said, hey, come on, man. Hey, come on. I'm offering you, what do you want? I'm offering you $500 million just to kill one lousy person. So what if it screws up your karma and you get reborn as a tapeworm thousands of times? Am I going into that book? <laughs> yes, my friend, you are going into that book. <laughs> well, but... We all feel that, that, first of all, you do need money to survive in this intensely commodified society. We're a society that, in my opinion, has surrendered over much. Sorry about the tongue. Too much tongue, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have kind of like gotten seduced by the capitalist view of things, to say the least. This is understatement. There, there, there. This proves this is understatement. I think maybe we in the U.S. and, and we're great, okay? Love ya, U.S. But don't you think we just kind of got a little bit seduced by capitalism? With the result that everything is a scam. <laughs> Look, it was money that corrupted our government to make a long story short, and it was Reagan that did it. Well now, there you go again, Perry. Hi, this is Ronald Reagan, taking a break from being flayed in the pits of hell for the death squad thing. Can you say, flayed in the pits of hell for the death squad thing? Flayed in the pits of hell for the death squad thing? Flayed in the pits of hell for the death squad thing? Flayed in the pits of hell for the death squad thing? Yes, don't rub it in. But I know Perry likes to blame me for the whole thing. And why not? In truth, I, Ronald Reagan, simply crystallized the problem. I labeled government as the problem. I weakened the government, and the corporations took over. Bada bim, bada boom. <gasps> Ronald Reagan just blew up. Uh, for those of you who just tuned in, Ronald Reagan showed up and blew up. You know how excited I get when celebrities blow up on my show? Ronald Reagan uh, just came in here and did point out something very important, you see. Uh, it was Reagan who said, let's let the government off our backs. <laughs> let's get the government off our backs. Let's get the government off our backs. And he meant the corporation's backs. And what, uh, in my opinion, what Reagan did was weaken the federal government, which you see, was our only protection from the corporations. Ha take a moment to notice. All right, go over there. Don't you see what happened? Don't you see Mary Logan's version of reality is, as always, the best in existence. Ronald Reagan weakened the government, and the corporations rushed in to fill the power vacuum. A child could have told you this, but... Republicans are not children. And now Perry Logan and the Tainted Band play Republicans are not children. Everything is tainted. What happened? We'll try that again. Everything.
Everything is tainted. What happened? <laughs> well, it, money, in, in other words, money is the most corruptive thing in the world. And where is all the money held? Okay. We're not going to play 20 questions. We're not going Socratic on you. I'll just answer it, okay? Well, the money, uh, most money, is like in the hands of corporations. Right? Even the individual people with big fortunes, they're, they're all intermeshed with corporations and the whole corporate thing. What we have is, what we have here, <laughs> uh, what we have here is a government eaten up by corporate money and power. And, it, you know, I, I do blame, well, not, you know, Ronald Reagan, not so much personally, but Reagan, Ronald Reagan and the Republican Revolution are what crystallized all of this. And sure enough, our lives have been going down the big swirler. Here we go. Four years ago, the whole Republican Revolution thing happened. It really kind of crystallized with Ronald Reagan. And, uh... You'll notice that the quality of life in America has been going down the big twirler here. Here we go. Down the big twirler, and down we go. We're going down, down, and hey-ho. Sorry, I just wanted you to have a little twirl there. We're living in a kind of a fungoid. We're, we are living in a horribly tainted world, a kind of a monstrous fungoid tainted monstrosity. And we're trying to have a little fun. Whew. Well, yeah, we're all tainted. No, no, no. This is not quite a bit about how we're all tainted. You're, you're okay. I'm okay. But, you know, we did have an illustration back there, I believe, earlier in the show, in which I said, hey, come on, man. How much money do you want to kill somebody for me? Come on, man. Come on. Satire. Satire. Look. Okay, look. I can see you're a tough nut to crack. I can see you're a tough customer, and you know that money is just like not worth anything anymore. What with 0.0001% of the population squatting on all the wealth. Squatting like some bastard on a lifeboat. Like some bloody bastard hoarding all the supplies on a lifeboat. What chance do we have unless we take the supplies, take them peacefully back? Never mind that. This is between you and me. This is like... A, this is the part of the show that only you can see. Please, don't let on. The people next to you are seeing something different. They're seeing like Perry Logan's cat or something. But you and I have got a little business deal going here. Now look, I'm willing to offer you one billion dollars. Come on, man. That's a thousand million. Can you get a grasp on that or do I have to crush your skull? I didn't mean that. Do I have to metaphorically crush your skull? Look, I will give you a billion dollars to kill someone you don't even know. Are you just too liver willy to do it? Look, the satire sign is on, Your Honor. <laughs> Nobody should hurt anybody. But uh, it all goes back to having uh, uh, taken down the one guard we had against, the one safeguard. Now, think about this. You live in a world where this point is rarely made for various reasons. And the point is that if the government doesn't protect you, from the rapacious corporations, no one will. I, I'm not going to screw around. Uh, if the government does not protect us from these gigantic international corporations, 
uh, who the hell will? It will not be guys with shotguns. Guys, I love them, but guys with shotguns or, or, or uh, militias, you know, who is going to protect you and me from corporations which are bigger, they have more money than uh, many countries, most countries. You know this, right? You're savvy. I can see you're smart. And you're considering my offer, aren't you? Billion dollars, baby. Come on, man. Billion dollars. That's how corruptive money is. That's the point. Don't want anybody to miss the point. Is that what happened was that Reagan uh, took down the guard. It was like our defense against the corporations. Now, people who talk about government as like small, limited government. I love these people. <laughs> Small government types, you know, these stinking, puvid, foolish, idiotic, libertarian, conservative, small government scum! Did I say small government scum? I didn't mean that in a personal way. The point here is that the, uh, the very popular and white, often heard small government meme has a huge, like, just a great big hole in it. Could I put it that way? Visualize a great big hole in the middle of the whole small government argument. We're in a hole. We're in a hole. So it's to illustrate the great big hole in the middle of the small government argument, i.e. government is the only institution in the world that, that can, can protect, protect us, us from, from the rapacious corporation. Democratic Party imploded in 2008. As Perry Logan, I'm the only one who seems fully aware of this, just about the only one I know, is that the Democratic Party underwent a sea change. A kind of transubstantiation, if you will. Are you listening? Oh. A transubstantiation uh, to... Make a long story short, the Democratic Party was taken over by Chicago machine politicians. <laughs> Chicago machine politicians. Oh no! <laughs> Chicago machine politicians. Oh my! Perry, what? <laughs> Chicago machine politicians. Mm. Uh, it yes, isn't well. the Democratic Party it was before. It has been tainted. <laughs> tainted with money, which apparently is like the most corruptive thing in the known universe. Perhaps visitors from distant galaxies someday will be able to tell us about something that is more powerfully corruptive than money. And don't forget about our little deal. Don't forget you and I were discussing a little matter of $500. I'm saying that I will give you $500 under the boards. So, Rosa, baby, yours to keep if you will just kill a few people. And I'm pretty sure you don't know them. 500, you feel insulted by 500? Let's up it. How about a thousand? How about a million? How about a billion dollars? Come on, man, I'm offering you two billion dollars to kill a few dozen people. What's wrong with you? Earth.
No, 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 we're not all tainted. This isn't some like thing about our tainted souls. Uh, but it's a thing about the show is about how tainted our government is. To, you know, it's like the republic really has gone up. It's like kind of funny. I hope you're okay. I, I hope I'm okay. But uh, an absolutely huge thing has changed within uh, recent weeks, within recent weeks of this, this show. And that is that uh, we went from having a kind of constitutional protection from, from infinite detention. Well, we had constitutional protections. It was the heart of the Constitution that uh, the army couldn't just make off with us. And now it's legal. I mean, this is literally the truth. If, if my mind seems a little blown, that would be it, okay? That would be it. I deny all other accusations, Perry. As your attorney, I would recommend that you shut up.